I love maps. So do yourself a favor and go grab a cup of coffee because this one might be a little longer than usual. I have a lot to show you. These are just a few notes I set up to learn how to use this Maps plugin. And by the way, for today's video, we'll be using the Maps plugin and also the Front Matter. If you don't know what these are, please go check this other video. Let's go back to the map. Let's start by taking a look at this number two at the west coast of the United States. If I zoom in, one of them is actually in Canada and they have different icons. The briefcase means that that is a client's note and the chain means that that is a collaboration note. That one in special is the active words note. If you haven't, I suggest you go watch that video. It's a great automation system. These two notes are a good example of how confusing this map can become in the future. Imagine a lot of nodes in the same region. What use would this be if I cannot see what that node is? If I have to zoom in all the time to check the node, it's much better if I go to the node, right? <laughs> so that's why I always experiment. I try things before uh, jumping in with all my nodes. And I found a solution. Here's what, I, what I've been doing. If I expand the presets and select, for example, clients, I'll see only clients notes. And let's say I wanna see collaborations, the same. Now I only see the collaborations notes. Okay, let me show you how I set this up and also many other great features this plugin has. But before we move on, I'd like to ask you a favor. If you are one of the half, more than a half of viewers that are not subscribed to the channel, and if you like what I do here, please subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. There are many ways to do this. We'll start by using the palette, Control P on Windows or Command P on Mac. And by the way, you have to have the plugin installed. You find the link in the description below. Type map, you find the map options here. And we'll go to add inline geolocation link. We are presented with this code. Start typing a point of interest, a fill tower. Sometimes it gets it right, others it doesn't. So let's give it a little help here. Paris and select that place. If I hover the mouse here, I can see the map and I can also edit this. Pretty cool, but let's go to the map. Here it is. This is already pretty cool, but there are so many things that you can do with this plugin. I added two new locations here. And if we go back to the map, you now see the number three because there are three nodes in Paris. And of course, if we zoom in, here they are. Now check this, if I click here and copy view code block, Go back to that note or any other note, paste that here. Look at this, isn't this amazing? Imagine planning a trip using something like this or I have some clients that they need to see their client's address on a map to plan their visits. Imagine something like this. But of course, there is more, there is much more. Another option, let's go back to the map, is get the URL. And again, we can use this in any node. I'm gonna use this in the same node. Let's call this map and add the link here. By the way, if you don't know what I'm doing here, I'm creating a link in Obsidian. If you don't know how to do it, check the links in the description below. Okay, if I click here now, <laughs> do I need to say anything else here? <laughs> There's no way you'll be able to show you everything this plugin can do today, but let's check some more options here. Let's say I'm here at this point in the map and I want to add this place to a node. I can right click it 
and I can copy the location as a front matter. Then I can go to a node and paste it here. And here's the format of the front matter. I'll, I'll come back to this in a moment. Let's take a look at the map again. Okay, here we have our fourth pin and now our map inside the trip itinerary also has that fourth pin. Okay, let's take a look at the front matter again. I'm going to create a new node here. The front matter for the location is location column. And then inside the bracket, we have to add the geolocation to connect that node to a point in the map. So let me show you what the crazy one here is doing <laughs> to some nodes. Let's go to Google Maps. Okay, we are here in Porto. Let's find, okay, this bridge. This is a beautiful bridge. And by the way, it has to do with Eiffel from the Eiffel Tower. Uh, if you come to the city, you should cross over it. it. It has, in my opinion, the best view of the city. Okay, but you don't have to select a specific point in the map. You can select any point. Let's select one in the middle of the river here, for example, here. Every point you select on a Google map will have the coordinates of that place. All you have to do is copy everything after the add symbol and before the second comma. So let's copy this, go to Obsidian and paste this inside the brackets. And there we have it. it it's really a matter of what you want to do. If you want to connect just the node to just one point in the map, you can use the front matter. If you want to connect to multiple points, it's best if you use the, the node body type inside the node. And you can use the coordinates like I did here in that other format, the one I showed you before with the geo, just add the coordinates after. Let me show you here. Okay, let's select the bridge now. Let's get this, whoops, where it is? Oh, here it is. Let's get this. Remember, before the second comment. Copy, now, Command P or Control P, map, add inline geolocation. Um, Luis first bridge and paste it here. And there we have it. Okay, I have two more things to show you. First, how to create the different pins, the colors and the icons, and after that, how to create, save, create and save the different layers to, al to alternate between, in my case here, clients, collaborations, trips. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the plugin settings. Click here, community plugins, and down here, there is the map view. Let's click on the map view settings. I'm not gonna talk about all this today. There's a lot here. Subscribe to the channel because I'm sure I'll be talking about most, if not all these options in future videos. Let's go down, 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 down here. Here are my icons. And as you can see on the left hand side, the connection is a tag. So the green one with the airplane has the tag trip. The link, the one with the link, the blue one has the collaboration tag and the briefcase has the client tag. There's also a, a generic uh, a default pin that is yellow and has the circle. To change the color, all you have to do is rename the color. For example, if I don't want this green, I can yellow and now it's yellow. Let me put it back to green because I want it green. As for the icon, I read part of the documentation, but I didn't really figure out. I know that there is a, a table of icons. I couldn't find it. And I don't know why they all have to start with FA, but they do. And what I did here, I tried many generic words, plain, chain, briefcase. If you try, many of them will work. Some will not, for example, airplane, 
will not work, <laughs> but plain works. So this is what I did. I'll try to find the, the table. If you know where it is, please leave a link in the description below. But I think you got the idea. Just try. It's not that hard. And if we click here, new icon rule, you get a new blank line to create a new icon. I'm going to delete this one because I don't need it. And I'll show you how to create and save the layers on the map. I will use the two nodes we just created, one in Porto, another one in Paris. The first thing I'll do here is add a, the tag trip here and also here. Let's do it here too. We don't need this. Okay, now let's go back to the map and select filters. There's a lot that you can choose here. For example, you can choose uh, the folder, the path where you want the notes to be selected from. You can use the tag. We'll use the tag. So trip. Yeah, that was fast. <laughs> so there's another one here. Uh, three notes here. And by the way, you can click here to see them. Of course, you can add many other options to the filter, but let's keep it simple. Save as trips and save. Now let's reset this and let's select trips. Here it is. Let's move to collaborations, clients. An important detail here is that the saved map search, I don't know how to call this, the saved filter will show the map at the size that you selected. So if I want to see the, the world map, I have to zoom out like this and position it where I want to, save as. I can use the same name because it's going to overwrite trips. Save. Now let's reset this. And if I choose trips, now I have the world map here. I told you this was going to be a long one. Now I need more coffee. If the video was useful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you like what I do here on the channel, please subscribe. It helps a lot. And if you want to help even more, please consider becoming a Patreon or YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.